is Justin Mosbach. I'm the director of search here at Improve and Grow. And we've been getting a lot of questions recently from our customers saying they got this box in the mail from Google. Should they set it up? Why should they set it up? So today I thought we'd address those questions. I wrote a blog post. You can find a link in the description of this video. Uh, let's get started. All right, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Slip the right tape there. Hello, welcome to Project Beacon. All right, let's see what's in this part. Oh, there's a little perforated package back here. So I don't want that thing moving around. And it's a lot smaller than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be at least the size of my hand. You can kind of see there for comparison. That Let's take a look at the packaging. The uh, instructions here that came with it. Get more reviews. Help customers plan. Connect with customers. Meet Project Beacon. Start connecting. Get more photos. Alright, let's get started. Take it out. Place it centrally. Okay, this looks like the activation website. Let's fill out this form and see what happens. It says setup takes just a few minutes. We'll find out if that's true. Do you have an activation code? Yes. The activation code is found on the front of the box. It's underneath the, uh, what would you call that, where the stamp goes. It's right below where the uh, postage label is. I'm going to type that in here. Did you manage to deploy the beacon according to the instructions? Not sure. Are you happy to give us some feedback about this process? No, thank you for now. And that's it, I guess. Hit submit, thanks for completing setup. Didn't ask me for an email address, didn't ask me for anything other than the activation code. So guessing at this point here, we just take off the adhesive on the back and put it somewhere centrally uh, within our office. So that, my friends, is a Google Beacon. It's a little Bluetooth uh, device that you can't actually ask for. Google's just proactively sending it out. It's uh, free to use, and if you don't want to use it, I recommend just not setting it up, but don't throw it out. It's a low energy device, so you don't ever have to charge it. It has a pretty long battery life of several years. So what does a Google Beacon do? Well, first of all, it proactively asks uh, users who are nearby to give reviews and add photos and answer questions about your business. So Google already uses GPS to know when users who have Google Maps installed are at a particular business, but GPS isn't as accurate as Google would like it to be, and this is especially the case with multi-story buildings. Uh, where Google can't tell altitude as well. So it can't tell if you're in the business on the first floor or on the second floor. And with other offices or other stores like inside a mall where they're next to each other or in the center of the city, Google has a lot harder time being able to tell uh, what businesses people are visiting. So that's one of the reasons that Beacon helps. It gives more precise location data back to Google. Another thing that it helps Google understand is how long people are visiting uh, your business and what times of day they're visiting. If you've ever been on the Google Maps app or on the website and seen a chart saying it's busy right now or it's not busy, but in a few hours it, uh, the store will be less busy, that's, this is one of the ways that it's getting that data in addition to the smartphones. So how is Google Beacon beneficial for PPC? Well, the main reason it's beneficial is because it can help the people that are running your AdWords campaigns, now called Google Ads, to optimize the content of those ads. So an example would be maybe one version of your ad that's running on Google is sending people to your website, but those people aren't actually coming into your store. But maybe another version of that ad is uh, 
actually bringing people into your store. So the person who's running your AdWords campaign is going to want to know that so that they can run the ad that's actually converting uh, more often. And that's what the Google Beacon does. It uh, helps Google understand that a user who's seen the ad and or clicked on the ad actually visited the store. So it can connect those two and provides you with store visit data right there in the Google Ads interface. What are the benefits of Google Beacons for SEO? I see several uh, benefits of using this, especially for brick and mortar stores or offices where customers are actually coming, physically coming into your, biz, your place of business. Why is that? Well, Google tries to replicate what the real world is like. The more information it has about your business, the more likely it is to rank it higher because it can trust that your business actually exists. It's not spam. It knows exactly where your location is. It knows your phone number. It knows that it has correct data about your business so that when it shows your business to searchers, if a business is popular in real life, Google wants it to be popular in search results, whether that's in regular Google search results or on Google Maps. So Google Beacons help with that because it gives Google real-time data about the customers that are at your business uh, so that it can update those popular times and visit duration charts that you see on the Google Maps listing or on the regular uh, search results. So thanks for watching. Hopefully that answered your questions. If you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments below in this YouTube video. I'll try to answer them. Also check out the blog post. I've linked to it in the description below and have a good day.